In this video, I will make a basic bubble and save it as a brush. Then I open a photo that could be associated with bubbles and use the paintbrush and add the bubbles to the screen, the same as this one here. I'll close this off. Don't save. Now we go to New, New File, File, New. 6x40 will do me. And click OK. Now I need the background to be black so I can see what I'm working on. You can use the bucket fill tool, fill with a foreground colour, make a new layer, transparency, click OK to force the transparency, go to your lip tool and just drag a circle on your work canvas there. Swirl your brush around to white using the double ended arrows, choose the bucket fill tool once again and fill that with white. We go to select and select none. Now we go to the eraser tool, choose a fuzzy brush, that one there, increase the size up to about there and then just erase inside there. Give it a couple of clicks, move up so you're getting that half moon or quarter moon effect. Be careful on the edges, we don't lose the edge because that's part of our bubble. That's looking reasonably good. OK, now I delete the background layer, place it in the waste bin there, just click on it and click it in the waste bin. Go to my selection, rectangular selection tool, and select around the bubble. Now I go to edit, and copy, return to edit, and paste as a new brush. The dialog sometimes loads down the bottom as it has here. Click on it and bring it up into view. Now, the it asks for a, a brush name, so we'll just call it Bubble. Give it a, a number, 01. And it needs the file name as well. Once again, 01. And then we click OK. And that places it in the, your brush folder for you. Made a new brush. It becomes permanent in your brush dialog box on the side. Now I delete that layer, we'll close it off, we don't want it anymore, we've got our new brush. Now we go and load our image, we go to, we go to file and we go to open. Now I have my image on board, I make a new layer, clicking that icon down in the corner there, it, it defaults to transparency, that's what we need. Now I go to my brush tool, leave the foreground colour as white, and we choose our new brush. Now I move into the, the uh, work area on the canvas, and increase your size just a fraction, and then click once. And there's your bubble. Now we increase the size a little bit bigger, and we click another one, and then we just change the sizes so it makes it more random as, as pairs that the bubbles have been blowing around and he's, he little fellows there looking at them. You need to go a bit smaller. Click that one there, takes you back to the default, last default setting and just move it back just a fraction more to give you a smaller bubble. You just a couple around up the top there floating away. There's another one. Now we right click the layer and click Alpha to selection. That selects my bubbles. If I don't do that, it, it paints the whole layer. I go to my blend tool. I choose a very soft blend, which is down here, Pascal Rainbow. And I change the shape to radial. Click on the down arrow and click on radial. Just place it in the center of those bubbles and drag it out just a fraction and let it go. That puts your colours in there, go to select and select none. If you feel the colours are too strong, you can go to colours and levels and change the levels of those colours. You'll need, need to, you won't see much of them because it's not a very big layer, but you can see the layer changing there on the screen. So I'll just bring down the colour just a fraction too white, bring it back. That's reasonable. And then click OK. 
Now just right click your top layer and flatten image. And there's your bubbles and you've still got your bubble brush and that's how you can colour your bubbles and make it appear in that fashion. Now if you go to the uh, website which is shown in the description below on more, show more, there's a print out hard copy on how to make the bubble and add it to an image. You, if you took party photos of a children's party you could put bubbles in there to make it more interesting and also weddings, they use weddings now in bubbles instead of the confetti. So thank you for watching.